Very warm but wet welcome to Bridgend. Yes, the Ospreys have made it down the M4 to the Dunraven Brewery Field today for what promises to be a mouth-watering clash between two sides banging form after Boxing Day victories. Atmosphere is building nicely here in the rain. It's a sellout at the Brewery Field. I'm sure there are some sore heads amongst the fans here, but two who are fresh, I hope. Uh, James Hook, Josh Navidi, nice to see you both. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Nice celebrations last night. Did you enjoy? Quiet, quiet, quiet for me. Quiet in Tembe. That's good. <laughs> uh, any New Year's resolutions we should hear about? Uh, for me, not yeah. to wear suede shoes, so wet <laughs> Brewery Field ever again. <laughs> Live and learn, I, I was going to say that you're not going to be putting those on again, no, are you? No. Um, do you know what yours should be? What, what is <laughs> Yours should be to get your wife to buy you more Christmas coats because you're looking very smart today. Oh. Excited today because to have this game played here in Bridgend, such a hotbed of rugby, isn't it? And so many fantastic internationals have come from here. You being one of them, Josh. Happy James. It is, it is. And they need to do them more often. I know, you know, when I first started with the Ospreys. It's out of stadiums and that's what they've got here. Yeah, you'll get it from, because uh, it's such a great town for rugby, you'll get One who is definitely old enough to remember playing here is Tom Shanklin and he's with Ellis Jenkins. Amazing here, and we're very much looking forward to this one, particularly Josh, because both sides come into to this match off the back of good Boxing Day wins. But for Cardiff, they've had a good Christmas off the field as well, with the positive majority shareholding news. And then it was probably their best performance of 2023 against the Dragons. Yeah, I think it's... I mean, you haven't got to be a rocket scientist to work out why they've done it, <laughs> but it is interesting, given the conditions, given the, the Ospreys pack. Yeah, I think it's... Wow. From the men in charge then now, shall we? A little earlier on, Lauren Jenkins spoke to both Matt Sherrod and Toby Booth. This is what they had to say. OK, I think we're having some technical difficulties, uh, but we'll march on regardless. Let's talk about the 10s, James, shall we? Because we've spoken a little bit about the pack. But the way they're going to approach this game is going to be integral today as well. Sport will control. Head up to our commentary box. The three wise men, well, two. Well, I'm glad you're cosy up there because we're freezing and wet <laughs> down here. Let's have a talk a little bit more about the battle up front then, Josh, because it's going to be an intriguing one, not just because it's Derby Day, but because the Six Nations is so close. So many good matchups there in the pack. Yeah, you. Ravens player. Um, I've watched him many times there, and the Sevens would be rubbing their hands together. It's a really feel the moment. It is. There's rain, and there's this. Am Horrendous. I, right? I think it's getting worse. Do you know what, though? Despite the weather, guys, I mean, that's been the big story of the first half. These teams are trying to play a bit. Yeah, it's always going to, from the start, that's how you'd want as a coach to go. If they've been moving the ball around, and also Ospreys as well. Yeah, I think you look at the three tries, the skill set in these conditions has been. Back in the 1980s, and I, for one, am very much enjoying it. Right, OK, shall we have a look at some of the tries then? I'm not sure we were expecting actually three <laughs> tries uh, in this first half. Let's have a look at Keelan Giles' try then. It came after seven minutes. Play attack, uh, Josh, and good execution. Yeah, it's just that miss um, the Ospreys out and just very good hands, especially was over. It was a good Cardiff response though with Owen Lane's try, but we spoke about him pre-match, didn't we, Thomas Williams, and he played a big part in this one. Yeah, he's been bossing it in the ball or turning it over, but it's a nice little... You want it right like there, it's easy to say, right, let's keep it tight in the 22. And the thing is as well, at that stage, it was literally like one attack and one try, wasn't it? And yeah. it's going to be all about being accurate in your 22, taking your chances. Yeah, 100%, and that's what you've got to do. And I think, you know, Ted... Being there with him, seeing him do his rehab with his... Gat sees him as a, as a centre, but he's been flying on the wing. I, I don't know what Gat sees him, you know, I think on the wing, fantastic, and, he, and he's been brilliant, he's delivered in the first half. Yeah, but I know with Mason, because his pace and his power, you can put him anywhere, you can put him... So this is the first of two derbies then, again today, getting warmed up. They definitely won't be getting warmed up. Getting ready uh, for a battle at Rodney Parade is Catherine Heller and Andrew Coombs. Catherine, glad to see you nice and dry in Rodney Parade. Um, that is going to be a really good match, isn't it? Both teams there under a bit of pressure at the moment. Yeah, they are. They're struggling confidence-wise. Both. Are you just wishing the conditions are going to be yeah, like yeah, that, James? Because it looked all right yeah. to me. Right, OK, so that is to look forward to. And I tell you what else we're looking forward to. Six Nations 2024. Excited, especially that so many. We get on the youngsters that have shown up up today in these horrendous conditions. It is even more exciting because it's so difficult to call the Six Nations this year. Oh, it is. It's the best tournament for me. I love playing it. The players, Michael for Warren Gatlin and the Wales team, and I think it's really. We talk selection. <laughs> I know we're a few weeks out, but I just like talking selection. I mean, in these conditions, I know it's very difficult to put your hand up. But is there anybody shining for you, James? Um, I think I think Mason Grady. We've spoken about him talking. <laughs> <Right, laughs> no from the point of view, I think James Fender. <laughs> Who can carry great line out option, his work rate, I think you know, he's someone to look for as well. You've, you forget about Morgan Morris who sat in the stands today. I've been very